Judges 3 1. Now these are the nations which Yahweh left to prove Israel by them, even as many of Israel as had not known all the wars of Canaan. Only so only that the generations of the children of Israel might know to teach them war. The Lord wants to teach you. Fight your enemies. Don't join forces with them. Be against them. Don't want to look like them. Don't look like them. Don't want to be down like them. What are you doing to yourself? Why do you want to be them? Hmm? What are you doing? You're envying them. Not just the females only. The males too. Not a man. He's a male. Look at them. Yeah, she's mixed up. But still, you shouldn't be putting this goddamn shit in your head. You just all fucked up, bro. You just fucked up. Looking like a goddamn clown. They had straight hair back in the days. They had straight hair. A lot of, most of the time, bald, not most of the time, but a lot of times bald. But they had straight hair. And then later on, they started to make you into the clown. By putting. No, it's actually a little bit more. By putting this. By putting the afro wig on. But they still kept the cheeks red. And the scale and the in the in the in the skin pale. I wanted to say scales, fucking reptiles, or green-eyed fucking serpents. Anyway, fucking snake people, goddamn snake tongue devils. Anyway, so yeah, so it says uh, Israel might know to teach them war. At least, at the least, such as before knew nothing thereof. You haven't taught your you haven't taught your children who the enemy is. Whatever, dude. Yeah, you haven't taught your daughters. You didn't teach them anything. You just you just you just created a beast that doesn't know that her end. It's not going to be a beautiful thing. Especially when a loose, crazy slave descendant like me is let loose. <laughs> yeah, I don't want you. You shouldn't think that I want you. You might be like, You're just jealous. Get you, get you out of the wood. I'm, I'm, I'm laughing. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool. If, if, that's, if that's what you say, you probably... Okay, cool. If, if that's what you're saying. Okay, cool. Okay. I'm just thinking about... Wait a minute. Uh, that's the body of a Jacob descendant. So, you're giving your Jacob descendant body to an Edomite. To do all his little cute things that he wants to do with you. Okay, you're gonna, you're gonna pay for that. Once that time comes. And remember, you're a fucking slave. Okay, you're a fuck toy. You used to get raped, but now you like it. So, don't think it's about jealousy. Think more anger. Think more anger. Think more extermination. Don't bring home a white boy. Really? And you still do? Your father failed you. <laughs> but then again, he, he actually gave me a mission in life. My mission is to, you know, to do fun things. You know, for my ancestors. Because I know my ancestors wouldn't like that shit if, if they saw you. Like, what the fuck? Is that was that? Is that, is that is that what his family is doing? That, that, is, isn't that isn't that the descendants of such and such and such and such? Is this is this what they're doing? <laughs> they give their daughters to them? <laughs> my sword. My sword. I hope I get a sword in the king before the kingdom comes actually. But anyway. To teach them war. So we were supposed to actually know better. 
you know so I'm um, go back over here uh, let me see if I covered up everything yeah you had the Mahites and you know this is an in, inter in, uh, inter uni 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 unisex or something like that unisex or something like that inter what you call it uh, g neutral gender new gender neutral name is what it is and let me see if I covered up everything now I might I will say this too because uh, you might think like oh my god it's gonna kill itself <laughs> you have this you have this uh, Blake Griffin right Blake Griffin's son now if he has a if he has a caucus female and makes children with her then those children might look like her might look like his mother right okay cool cat and then it's a son and then that son go gets another caucus female and so forth and they do it for three four five generations they're gonna look white they're gonna look like an uh, Is that Jones? Oh, and, um, you say guy? Musician? Colton always you. Okay, I look. Oh, Tom Jones, yeah. <laughs> I got him. I saw him right there. Tom. This is an Israelite. This guy. That's an Israelite. Man, you can say whatever you want. I know that he's an Israelite. I do not believe that he's an Edomite, and I just don't. I just I saw his spirit. I heard him singing, and uh, I just know, like, okay, you you do have some of these people that sell their souls, and then all of a sudden they can sing. You know, you do have that. If you watch the show, uh, they sold their soul for rock and roll. Here, if you watch this, you will see that. It was in 2004. Back in the days, it was on YouTube for free, but now they want you to pay. I have a website where you, where you can archives.com. You can check it out for yourself. I can't put the link because these devils there, they already striked me one time because I shared the link, but that was on my other channel. You know, they really wanted to and, um, mess with me. But yeah, you can look for it for yourself or. Oh yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll do something else. I'll do something else. Yeah, I'll do something else. Anyway, so um, yeah, just uh, just uh, just type this in. You'll find it. Right, but that was because I was sharing something else, which was streaming movies. And uh, yeah, this is not streaming a movie. Like I said, it used to be free on YouTube. You can still find it. Wait, let me let me see here. Let me see something. Yeah, it's right here. <laughs> it's on YouTube. They have part one, and it's in total is three hours. So you can watch it for free. On here is part two from four, which this one is an hour, and that I don't know how long. The, I'll put this link in the description box so you can check it out for yourself. So it's not something illegal or something. And if it is, well, then fuck them. Then they need to remove it themselves from YouTube. I didn't, I didn't put it there. Anyway, okay, watch that. Then you will see that they will explain to you, some of them famous artists, right? They will explain to you that they couldn't sing. And some of them will say, I cannot re reenact or recreate that song because it wasn't me. It was a spirit that was with me that did that song. That's why you find a lot of songs beautiful because it, you're looking at, wow, it's beautiful. Yeah, that's an angel. That's an angel singing or, or making the tune. Or, or making the lyrics and, and then you you resonate with it you go oh it's my it's beautiful yeah that's 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 not a person that's why it's so beautiful and uh, yeah so you had that and let me see something here yeah but anyway you do have that but uh, wait let me let me do this before I forget it 
Okay, I'll remember the Lord willing, I'll remember that. But I don't think this guy is that. I think this guy is genuinely he you know, he can he can he can he sounds like us. He is us. And and he checks his his uh, DNA. He checks a DNA uh, test. So I know. The, and he is from Welsh. <laughs> Discovered when he had what uh, black uh, DNA? Yes, Tom Jones. I haven't. Uh, I haven't taken it. But yeah, yeah, shut up. Uh, where's the other one? Here, see the lion again. He didn't. Maybe he didn't take it at that time. But later on, he did. Tom Jones proven right as DNA test. He was always saying that he's black. I think John Stone, Tom Jones, Alfonso, this guy, uh, Colton. He was always singing his thing. To do, 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 do. you know that's it's funny and of course he's a Jake and I think he he made children with the Edomite I'm not sure I think it's this he made children with I don't know if he made children with her but those children are Israelites it doesn't matter what the mother is right and you have Tom Jones proves right as DNA test reveals 200,000 to bull fucking shit the earth is not even it's not even uh, the earth is about 12,000 years a little bit more than 12,000 years old a little bit more than that okay yes he has our ans people ancestry within him but it's not see that's why you you have to watch out for the snake tongue devil nation race you have to watch out for them because they're lying to you but through the power of Yahweh Basham Yahshai, we're going to figure it out. <laughs> we're going to figure it out. I myself begin to began to doubt my caucus roots having watched the box set of Desmonds for the fifth time in succession on my last tour. Anyway, I don't need a DNA test to look at you and to see you, your spirit, the way you do things, the way you are. Did he ever take a DNA test and swear he's black? Because he swear he's black. Yeah, before he didn't take the DNA test, no. Because he was always saying that he is a black man. He always said that. And I always believed him. I looked at him and I was like, you're fucking right. <laughs> uh, I also saw him when he was very, very brown. Well, it looks red. But if you see another picture, he's very, very brown tanned up you know he's very brown he can get very brown he's just like an Italian look at him but he's from England you know and he didn't need no uh, fake tan like Donald Trump <laughs> but of course he gets lighter just like you have uh, Alicia Keys you have Alicia Keys pale skin but she also has like a uh, brown skin but she has like here you can see her kind of palish, and here in the sun you can see her kind of brownish. So she changes also because you know that's 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 what they do. They they change uh, they they can change skin color because yeah they have both. And if she's in the sun, she will get brown. And if she's not, then she will get pale. And so-called tanned you know I have to put it in there but we know that's brown you know tan is brown as you can see here what tan paint color wow Yeah, this is tan. Shades of tan. So it's different shades of tan. It goes into brown, man. It's just brown. Okay. It's just a different shade of brown. But they don't want to tell you that. This is brown. This also, this also, and this also. But anyway. This goes a little bit into orange, as you can see here. But it's still brown. That's why orange hair.
It's brown. Because it's brown. Orange leaves. Okay, this is red, but nobody has this hair color. They're lying to you. Again, a snake tongue devil is always lying to you. Here you can see it's, it's kind of brownish. You know, anyway, you can look these pictures up for yourself so you can see the color uh, of, for yourself. And this this is the color that their hair has. <laughs> Jake, man. Happy interracial. Walking in the autumn. Right, look look at this female here. Bra brown t-shirt. And they did it on purpose. They know exactly what they're doing. And then brownish type hair. They do it on purpose, man. You know, a little light brown. You know, kind of yellowish. They do it on purpose to make her dress that that uh, brown t-shirt. Of course, you want to change her black one. No, 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 you got a bunch of fakes. Mm. Redhead. This one is real. This one. This one is real. That's real. She's real. She's born that way. And I think this one also. This one is born that way. I have no problem with that whatsoever. This one is born this way also. This one is real. This one is fake. This one, I got a problem with this. <laughs> I just do. I got a problem with that. I think this one is real too. I'm not sure. But I see the freckles in the face. So I would think this one is real and I think this one is real also because I see the freckles again. If I see freckles, then I'd be like, yeah, you're real. I think she has freckles too. Yeah, she got freckles too. Because it's a DNA trait. They have it. I think this one is real. I'm not sure. Not 100% sure. I think this one is real too. I'm not sure 100%. You know? Of course, of course this one is real. But this one is brown. You know, they call it redhead. Afro-Caribbeans. She might be mixed up, but anyway, let me go on because I'm making this video more of talking than, than reading scriptures, so sorry about that. But I'm just giving examples of facts, Lord willing. I'm giving examples of facts. And I'm almost done anyway, so. Not this, okay, Judges, I already read that. Lebanon, got that, Phoenicians. <laughs> Who invented the way I did that? They're lying to you. Who invented the alphabet? They're lying to you, you know. They want to make it seem as if it, if the, as if the Hamites are the real creators of uh, stuff like that, which is not. That's not the truth. You know. Um, I, okay, I think I'm done with all that there. Leaf. Yeah, this is something else. They're carrying the uh, one of the obelixes. Right. Okay, enough of this. <laughs> okay, I think I'm almost done. Right, uh, especially with these things, I think. Genesis 25. Okay, that's 122. That one, and that's okay. You can read this chapter for yourself if you have the time. It's a very beautiful chapter. And you would, you would start, not start, but uh, you would love the daughters of Jacob because she would see the beauty within them. Not no goddamn nigga bitches, okay? There's a difference. There's a difference between the daughters of Jacob and the whores of Israel. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there shall not be a whore of Israel, actually. I wanted to say the whores of Esau, you know? You know, the, the slaughterings that Esau created. Anyway, before you saw created it, you know, there's a, a lot of our females were a bunch of bitches anyway, so. A lot of our men were a bunch of goddamn sodomites, but yeah. Okay. So, uh, Joshua, but, but we're, we're waking up right now. And all sins can be forgiven, so, hey. If you have an Edomite husband, and he's a real Edomite, and you, uh, you, you, you flee from him, <laughs> of course you're going to be forgiven. The Lord said so. 
so don't worry too much about that that not thing don't be like oh my god there's no home for me shut up two that's uh, not two thirds <laughs> I was thinking to this now. Second, not two thirds, second Ezra chapter 16, verse 76. And the guide of them who keep my commandments and precepts, with thy precepts I get understanding, saith Yahweh the power. Let not thy sins weigh you down, and let not your iniquities lift up themselves. Don't trip. Remember this scripture. We are all worthy of death. The Book of Sirach, Ecclesiasticus, aka Ecclesiasticus. The Book of Sirach, chapter 8, verse 5. Reproach not a man or a woman that turneth from sin, but remember that we are all worthy of punishment. So if they turn from their sin, don't bitch upon them. Why? Because you're supposed to be put to death also. But you turned from sin, didn't you? And so did they. So don't chase them. I'm gonna kill you because you could wait me. Mm. No. <laughs> it does look funny if I look. Sometimes I say stuff, but don't trip too much, you know. Because uh, Heavenly Father willing, I am reasonable, even though some might think I'm not. But if I sit down and think, I would. Uh, I would know better. Right. I might say something too rash. But if you question me, I'll give you the straight answer. No, I'll give you the right answer. Might not be straightforward, but I'll explain stuff to you. Might take long. I've been talking for like an hour and 35 minutes now. Haven't really read a lot of scriptures. <laughs> so sorry about that. But it's all about the explanation, so I can really explain stuff to you. I hope you uh, forgive me for that. So Joshua chapter 13 verse, so now we, I, Lord willing you're listening, I cleared up the uh, Machanites, Machites, that would, and the Gergesites is, is already Hamites, but these are so-called Syrian type people, but like I said, you also had one of the sons of Ham, it's also called Machan, so I don't know if it's their families and that, that went on forward, let me, let me, let me look up something here. Funny, I've never thought of it actually. I don't know. Sorry. First Kings, um, what? First Kings, two thirty-nine. Nay, what? What? Second Kings. Sorry. Second Kings two thirty-nine. Yeah, it's the same name. But it does explain to you that one was the was a Hamite, and one was a um, one was a Syrianite here here from Syria, because his father was a Syrian. One was a an an an, an uh, sorry an Israelite an Israelite daughter you know one was an Israelite daughter. One was a concubine. I'm not sure if she was an Israelite or not because the Levi also had a Judah con concubine. So you, you can be an Israelite and then have an Israelite concubine. It, it, that's possible. So it's not necessarily that uh, concubines were 100% heathen nations. Sometimes you had Israelite concubines, you know. And let me see here. Probably feminine noun. Son of Noor. A Simeonite. He was also called uh, Maha, 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 Yeah. So, and, um, right? And also a Hamite. So, like I said, I'm not 100% sure, but this is not for uh, salvation's sake. This is more of this is what it's possible. But I would think it's talking about the people of. Syria, 
because I read it down there. It says Syria. It was on that tip. But it could be a Hamite. So, but yeah, it's not for uh, salvation's sake anyway. So, I wouldn't break my head too much with it. I'm just telling you that well, what's possible. I would think this one. <laughs> what are you going on now? It says, hey, let me see. Suzanne, I hope you agree that. To see the beauty of our uh, daughters. The daughters of Jacob. And the book of Judith also you should read. Also shows the beauty of our daughters. The daughters of Israel. That were our, our, on our side. By the way. And not on the heathen side. Joshua chapter 13 verse 13. Nevertheless, the children of Israel expelled not the Gishurites, nor the Machites, but the Gishurites and the Machites dwell among the Israelites until this day, because we made children with them. Only unto the tribes of Levi he gave none inheritance. The sacrifices of the Lord, the power of Yahweh, the power of Israel, made by fire, are their inheritance. As he had said unto them in the book of number chapter 17 and 18 he he explains this he explains this and moses gave unto the tribe of the children of reuben inheritance according to their families and their coast was from arur that is on the bank of river arnon and the city that is in the midst of the river and all the plain of Medeba, Medeba, which is here. So here you have Debon. Oh, sorry. Here you have Arur. And you have, of course, waters in the midst. And then you have Medeba. So all this region, which was formerly known as the region of the king of Sihon, and we took it. Because they sinned. I'm going on though here. Wait, let me see something. Okay. Oh. Verse 17 Heshbon and all her cities that are in the plain Debod and Bamoth Baal and Beth Baal Meon which is Debon already showed which is here and I think this is Death Beth Diblaim no it Heshbon yes this place also of course, here is Gilead. Here, actually, I'm not Gilead. And okay, let me read on. Okay. And Jahaza, and Kilimoth, and Meth. Uh, Kilimoth, I just saw that here. Kilimoth. I'm not sure if it's this one because like I said sometimes they spell it different like this one over here it's spelled different when you read the scriptures and yeah so they do what they want Jahaz I just read that one which is here here it says Jahaza and here it says what Jahaz so yeah I don't know um they spell things different. Also in the Apocrypha, they spell things different compared to the, for example, Esdras. That's Ezra. It's the same person, but they spelled it different. So going on, in the Mount of the Valley, and Beth Peor, and Ash Doth Pishga, and Beth Jes Hemoth. So Ash Doth Pith Pisga, this word, Pisga, is here I saw it somewhere I just read this one Beth Jeshimoth right? and Pithka hmm. it's in the blue it's written in blue I remember that here Mount Pishka here. which is this one then yeah here Mount Pishka which is around here Beth Jis 
Yashiman. Beth Yashiman. Yashiman. Beth Yashiman. Which is this one. And this one is the Pesca. I think this is Mount. I'm not sure. Go on. 21. Joshua tw 13 and 21. And all the cities of the plain, and all the kingdom of Sihon, king of the Amorites, which reigned in Ashbon, who Moses smote with the princes of Midian. He didn't do it with them. He killed them along with the princes of Midian, Eva, Avi actually, and Rechem, and Zur, and Hur, and Reba, which were dukes of Sihon, dwelling in the country. Balaam also the son of Beor, the soothsayer from Mesopotamia, did the children of Israel slay with the sword among them that were slain by them. So it was here. Wait, let me show this. Wait, here? Um, I, I just had it here. I saw it. I saw that they put it somewhere here. No, then it was here then. Sorry, bear with me, please. Um, I put it somewhere. It's funny because I did put it somewhere here. I put the book of numbers somewhere here. Oh, sorry, it was here. <laughs> Numbers chapter 31, verse 1. And Yahweh spake unto Moses, saying, Avenge the children of Israel of the Midianites. Kill them. Afterward shalt thou be gathered unto thy people. And Moses spake unto the people, saying, Arm, your, arm some of yourselves unto war, unto the war. And let them go against the Midianites, and avenge Yahweh of Midian. Why? Because in the book of Numbers chapter 25, they, they, they tricked the Israelites with their daughters, with their wives. And then they gave their wives to the Israelites. And the Israelites started to follow after them, their gods. You know, if you read the book of Numbers chapter 25, I made a video about it. So you can watch it for yourself if you have the time. So going on, the book of Numbers chapter 31, verse 4. Of every tribe a thousand, throughout all the tribes of Israel, shall he send to the war. So they were delivered out of the thousands of Israel, a thousand of every tribe, twelve thousand armed for war. And Moses sent them to the, to the war, a thousand of every tribe, them and Phinehas, the son of Eliezer, the priest. And by the way, Phinehas, he killed them. He killed them, the traitors. Which one was Here, for us. You can read this for yourself if you have the time, or you can watch the video that I did. To the war with the holy instruments and the trumpets to blow in his hand. So they used these things in order to go fight against them. And they warred against Midian, uh, the, the Midianites, as Yahweh commanded Moses. So the Lord told them, Go kill them to avenge me. For the wickedness that they did. And it's very tricky what they did. Because. Ba uh, uh, what's his name again? Uh, Balaam. He was the one that tricked them. He was the one that uh, sent them to go fight against the Israelites. And he, he, he used his wisdom. In order to make them. The Midianites. Make their daughters. To cause their daughters to. No, no. To make their daughters cause the Israelite men. To fall in love with them. And start worshiping their God. And they did. Because nowadays, if you have a Caucasus female or an Arab female, you love your wife. So, in, in order to please your wife, you're going to have a Christmas tree in your house, or you're going to want to keep the Ramadan or something like that, you know? Why? Because you want to please her. That's the same thing that King Solomon did. He started to love his wife beyond reason. And then he started to crumble toward their their desire for you know 
actually his desire to, to love them you know but going on verse 8 no 7 and they warred against the Midianites and Shahawa commanded Moses and they slew all the males kill them and they slew the kings of Midian beside the rest of them that were slain namely Evi and Rechem and Zur and Hur and Reba five kings of the Midian sorry a five king of his kings of Midian Balaam also the son of Beor they slew with the sword and who was he he was none of those people he was actually Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 4 because they met you not with bread and water in the way when they came forth out of Egypt when ye came forth out of Egypt and because they hired against the Balaam the son of Beor of Pethor of Mesopotamia to curse thee and who comes from Mesopotamia <laughs> um, Abraham chapter 7 verse 2 and he said men brethren and fathers hearken the God, the power of glory appeared <coughs> unto our father Abraham when he was in Mesopotamia before he dwelt in Haran which is Haran see they change the name again this Haran is actually is actually Haran a city located in North Mesopotamia, a branch of the Euphrates tree. Oh, sorry, Euphrates tree, Euphrates River, not tree. Sorry, I saw a tree somewhere and then it came out. I said it. Um, did I see it somewhere? I, I thought I saw it somewhere. I don't know anymore. So yeah, so it was here. Er, and then he went to Haran. Uh, Abraham came from here. Abraham came from here. And then he went to here, Haran. And then he went to here. You know. Abraham's alternative alternative route, migration route. Abraham migration migration route. So basically here. Ur of the Chaldeans. And then he went to Haran. And then he went to here. But Haran is Haran. It's the same thing. They just spelled it different. Haran is Haran. It's the same thing. Here. Ancient map. See? It's Haran. It's the same thing. Haran. It's Genesis... Uh, which one was it again? Damn it. I just showed it. I think it was Genesis what, 11. Uh, yeah, Genesis 11. Right. You can read that for yourself if you have the time. Right. So he went to Haran. But he came from Mesopotamia. Abraham did that. And my father called the Syrian. Ready to perish. That's Abraham. Yes, Jacob was also called that. But yeah, that's a whole other story. The point is that that was Abraham. Yeah. Okay. Going on. So, Balaam was also from that region. And don't get it twisted. These are very, very powerful witches. These people over there. Very powerful witches. They're the fucking Satanly demonic. Yeah. But anyway. <laughs> that's why we're so powerful too. <laughs> but we, we're the good guys actually. <laughs> They're the bad guys. That's why we're cut off from them. Or actually, they were cut off from us. They were cut off from uh, Abraham. You know. First, you, see. No, not the one. Uh, Numbers chapter 31, verse 9. <clears throat> and the children of Israel took all the women of Midian captives and their little ones and took the spoil of all their cattle and all their flocks 
and all their goods so these are the cows and stuff like that and these are the sheep and goats flocks are birds and da -da 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 -da. but you also have sheep and then the cattle are the these are cattle and large domesticated bovine bovid uh, stuff like that these are animals of uh, uh, car cattle cows bulls oxen and calves and which animals are called are called uh, what was it again cattle and Yeah, but sheep too. Yeah, birds, sheep, and Ganga uh, together, and also um, goats. Also goats. Mm. On the farm, mammals, you see? And birds and stuff like that. You know, uh, chicken. Yeah, you know, chicken and stuff like that. Oh yeah, wait, quails, quails, quails. Also quails, quails, because that's also lawful to eat. And of course, mammalian life and stuff like that, particularly sheep and goats, sheep or goats, sheep and or goats, actually, I should say. So yeah, we had that in there, and all flocks and um, all their goods. So we was allowed to take that, take that, take that. Like, uh, <laughs> okay, so now enough of that. And then going back to over here. No, I don't need that one here. Joshua chapter 13, verse 23. And the border of the children of Reuben was Jordan, which is here. This was the border of the children of, of Reuben. This, this was the border of the children of Reuben. Basically, the river Jordan. This is the river Jordan. And then it comes into this water here. Uh, let me see. Um, right. And the border thereof. Right. This was the inheritance of the children of Reuben after their families. The cities and the villages thereof. And Moses gave inheritance unto the tribe of Gad. Even unto the children of Gad according to their families. And their coast was Jazer. And all the cities of Gilead. Which is... That's their border. That's their coast, you could say. And half of the children of, sorry, and half of the land of the children of Ammon unto Aror, that is before Rahab, Ra, Rabbah, sorry, which is then therefore here. You had Rabbah, which is here. And then basically this is it then therefore. Yeah, you can say this then. Gad was here. Name of the who was here again? Let me see. <laughs> yeah, Gad was here. Ruben was here. Right, Ramoth here, here they 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 stopped here. Cats stopped here. But the Ammonites were there. Going on now it says, and from Hezbon unto Ramoth, Mizpah, and Bethanim, Bethanim, and from Mahanaim unto the border of Debir, Debir, which is. If I can't find it, I'll leave it, because... Hmm. Here you have the beer, but... Question mark. Yeah, I'm not sure. Wait, um... Let me... So, here, sorry. Yes, 
آسمان مپاث جاسا you have a debir here but that's in Judah land but then again you also have a dun here and and then you had and then you had done here I was really looking for it here sorry then you have done here so this is the region of Dun, and this is then some place in Naphtali that's also called Dun. so I don't know if it's then here for death and if it's then therefore somewhere here yeah and it's not for this is not for salvation sake anyway it's not an excuse but I clearly can't find it so I don't know where it is it must be somewhere here I don't know Maybe if I go look at the maps real good, <laughs> I might find it, you know, because sometimes I really read, I don't read good, and I might miss it. Therefore, I have you. <laughs> you can correct me and help, help along, <laughs> which is good. Here you have Mispa, yeah, you see? I know it's somewhere here, but okay, you got Mesfa here, and down there you got Jerusalem, and then the beer, the beer here. No, this is on the other side. This is here. The the, the salt sea is here. Yeah, the beer here, and anyway, just go on. Right, then um, you get the beer, and just read the other one going on first 27 and in the valley Beth Haram and Beth Nimra and Sukkoth I just saw Sukkoth the man of Sukkoth it's somewhere I did see it but I no I didn't see it here then no here Sukkoth Sukkoth I just saw it if I can't find it then I'll leave it see it <laughs> but I do remember this one so remember that one Shinareth Shinareth yeah Shinareth so okay I'll, I'll leave it so the men of Sukkoth I remember the men of Sukkoth it's in the scriptures and Zaphon the rest of the kingdom of Sihon king of Heshbon Jordan and his border even unto the edge of the sea of Shenareth on the other side Jordan eastward uh, as I just showed you which is here oops yeah, I just hmm. no then it's here On the other side of Jordan. Hmm. Yeah. <coughs> Let me see something here. No. Okay, I'll leave it at that. I'll just leave it. Just know it's around. Just know they they're they're parting the land. So let's just leave it at that. But it it is on this side though. <coughs> Sorry. Here. Because they, they were talking about this and Arnon and Arnold and, and all that, that type of stuff going on. Let me go on. So, here. First. Bro. 29. No, first 28. This is the inheritance of the children of God after their families, the cities, and their villages. And Moses gave inheritance unto the half-tribe of Manasseh. And this was the possession of the half-tribe of the children of Manasseh by their families. And their coast was from Mahanaim, all Bashan, all the kingdom of Og, king of Bashan, and all the towns of Jair, which are in Bashan, three score cities. So... Uh, one score is uh, 20 so three score is 60 so they got 60 cities which was here I'm oh, sorry here they got like 60 cities and that was from this then therefore it was uh, Manasseh sorry here. 
my last I got this. They got like 60 cities over there. So it said 31 and half Gilead and Ash Taroth and Edli or Edlai Edlai cities of the kingdom of Og in Bashan were pertaining unto the children of Mahir the son of Manasseh even to the one half of the children of Mahir by their families so they got then therefore this region over here and but which yeah which would then therefore mean around here it it's it's a very yeah you know like I said it's not a hundred percent on a hundred percent type tip but I'm just giving you an indication no not an indication like not a suggestion either just just kind of know just just when you look at the scriptures I'm oh, sorry when you look at the map then you would you know kind of be thinking like oh okay got it you know Thirty-two. These are the countries which Moses did distribute for an inheritance into the uh, sorry in the plains of Moab, on the other side Jordan, beside by Jericho eastward, which is this. This is Jericho. And eastward toward it, so he allocated these unto. After the tribe of Manasseh, Gad, and Reuben. Right, going on. But uh, thirty-three. But unto the tribe of Levi, Moses gave not an any gave not any inheritance. Yahweh, the power of Israel, was their inheritance, as he had said unto them. And he said that in the book of Numbers, chapter seventeen, and also Numbers chapter eighteen. Right. He said it there. So, let me see if I miss anything. Because I'm getting kind of sleepy. <laughs> Sorry. Um, let me see. Yeah, I'll put this in the description box so you can check it out. So, you can check it out for yourself. And this is a lie. They're lying because they're devils. And he's not no freaking African. He is not a Hamite. He's an Israelite. Yep. No, he doesn't look like us. Oh yeah. I wanted to talk about this, but it it it, it shows from let me see here. For example, it goes from actually a little bit more than this actually until the U river Euphrates. But this is the time. This is not good. So, wow, sorry, man. I didn't even um, I didn't even notice I was shining. I really need to go. Uh, but this this is not even uh, accurate because, yeah, this is just something that they suggest. But we know according to the book of Genesis chapter fifteen, it does go into that. But it's way bigger than than they just showed you. Because, you know, it's a snake tongue devil of nation. And they're not going to tell you the truth. Because it says it went from the river Egypt. The great river of Egypt. Which is, wait. The great river of Egypt. There's only one great river in Egypt. Which is the Nile. Oh, and Sukkoth. Huh. But there was a Sukkoth here too. Yeah, it was a Sukkoth also here in, in, in Israel. Wait, let me show you that. Uh, Sukkoth. Here. Hmm. There was there was a Sukkoth there too. Wait, let me see. Gilead. In Gilead, you have the River Jordan here. Then you have Sukkoth. You have Adam. Adam. And you can see the Adam here. 
Okay, so that's all right. It's somewhere in here. I saw it. I know that it was there because I saw it. <sighs> Sorry if I cannot find it, but it was here somewhere. This one. Here. And then there's Ab 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 Abdel. Ab 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 uh, Abel. Abel. It's one of these maps, man. I saw it. I done something. Ah, look at there. Right, look at there. Which is on the side of Jordan here, on the other side of Jordan. You know, here. And oh, was it here? So yeah, you have Sukkoth and you managed it. I remember that one. Yeah, you have Sukkoth here also somewhere. Yeah, here, Sukkoth. Well, above Adam. But you have another Sukkoth that they called that one over there. This one is further away. This one is in Egypt. As you can see here, Memphis, Great Pyramids, and Ramses and Pithom, and here you have Sukkoth. But here, you have Sukkoth also. This is Israel, the hill country of uh, Ephraim. And then next to it, you have Sukkoth also. So you had different places with uh, different, with, with same name, sorry. Here, see, Sukkoth. I know that there's a Sukkoth there. And you have the Jabbok River, which is here, where is it? Here, you have the Jabbok River. So around here is a Sukkoth is here somewhere. Somewhere here, another Sukkoth. So yeah, I do know that. Because there was a Sukkoth in Isha and there was a, well, it looks like there's another one in Egypt, but yeah, but yeah even then, they're not even sure. But it's around here somewhere. But yeah, so I don't want to go too deep in this one because it doesn't matter anyway I mean so what what are you gonna do about it let's say that was it what are you gonna do about it I mean we're not gonna do anything because for example if if um, hmm. before I see some stupid <laughs> it's uh, it's actually funny because <laughs> the first thing that I actually did <laughs> was look at their naked legs <laughs> and then I read this <laughs> I was thinking to myself like what the fuck are these kids doing and that's that's just funny and before this one I clicked on this one here and I was thinking to myself like what the fuck is this? <laughs> they're naked they're literally nearly naked but anyway I was looking for this uh, this one uh, actually I wasn't looking for this one I was looking for some more sexual sexualization of it like this you know what what the fuck what, the fuck? what is this to do with education what is this to do with teaching and learning but my point of grabbing this is to show you that what are you going to do about it? <laughs> so even if you know all the locations of ancient Israel and stuff like that, what are you going to do about it? You ain't going to do nothing. You know? But the salvation is the one thing that matters, which is the reason I'm showing you also this can help boost your faith. And I'm all about boosting the faith of the nation of Jacob. Because if you knew all, if you know all these things and you start realizing and understanding, it would boost up your faith and boost up your morality and to 
within uh, the scriptures and stuff like that to make you love it more to make you understand it more to make you understand it more easy to make you see more better and see more easy and stuff like that hey here's one of the, the daughters of um the wives not the daughters the, the daughters of israel but the wives of uh king david came from here jezebel right that region so if i think she if i think she if i think uh, further, she I think she was a, she was she was an Issacharite. One of the wives of uh, King David was an Israelite, and he's a Judite. Comes from here, and he got him his wife a wife from here. But yeah, so yeah, that just that, that just distract me. Sorry, but the point is that see 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 the map. See, it, it makes you think things when you read something. You be like, oh yeah, here here was oh here was one of the daughters of oh, here was one of the wives of uh, of of uh, King David. And 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 then and then here he'd be like, oh yeah, yeah, here this happened, and then and then oh yeah, here uh, King Og, we 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 beat them up, and oh yeah, here here Jaza, oh yeah, the, 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 you know, that's what I mean, you know, S -s stuff starts sparking up in your mind, and then when you read about the, the about the Hebron Mount Hebron, and then you would know stuff about it because you saw it in church, and oh here Jericho Jericho yeah yeah Jericho we fought against here and. Uh, da, 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 stuff like that, and you know what I'm saying. That's what I'm. That's what. That's what I'm doing it for. To make you think when you see something, you be like, "Oh yeah, Jericho. Oh yeah, we used to chill here at Abdel Shemet. Uh, not Abdel. Uh, Abel. 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 Shemet. And then we used to we crossed here, and then uh, we fought against them, and and then, and then we 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 circled their 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 thing seven times, and. And on, and on the seventh day we circled, it, we circled it seven times and one time each day for seven days long and then on seventh day we circled it seven times and, and then and then we shouted and we fell so next time we then therefore when you then therefore see for example this you see a map right you see Lebanon you would think oh the Hamites were there and 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 uh, Baal God was here you know them giants was there Yes, Baal back is mentioned in the Bible. It is often referred to as Baal God in the uh, Testament. And what what does this mean? It means the troop of basically Satan, the troop of Satan, like the big army of Satan. You know, that's that's what they was calling themselves there. Baal Gad was a Canaanite city located in the region of modern day Baal back in Lebanon. Yeah, the Hamites were there, and the Canaanites were. Um, um, one of the sons of Ham, and then from Canaan came one of the, you know, the Phoenicians, which was one of the sons of Canaan, which was one of the sons of Ham, right? So, Baalbek is then therefore, you know, see, see what I mean? See what I, what I just did, Lord willing? What I just did was, every time now you see this, you will think of Canaan. And so, you see, see, what I'm, see what I'm doing? Lord willing. So, that's one of the reasons that I go into the you know map and stuff like that i love it i hope you love it too so yeah and lord willing we will get to all this here i'm gonna give you a brief view which lord willing i will do in the future wait let me grab it right this is the preview right so it shows you here paul's first journey first missionary journey and then he went from here there and then he went to cyprus Paphos, Salamis, and then he went to Perga, and then he went to Antioch, here, Lys Lys Lacedonia, right, something like that, Derby, 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 he's from Cilicia, you have Cappadocia, you have Galatia, you have Bithynia, you have Asia, right, you, Ephesus, Ephesus, Ephesus? something like that, he went to Athens, Corinthians, and stuff like that, and all these places, Thessalonia, Philippia, Macedonia, all these places, and here you had the seven churches of so, uh, not also, uh, you had the seven churches also, not of so, but I mean also, here you had Kirti, Egypt of course, Judea, Syria, 
the region over there, Antioch. You have Antioch here, Antioch here. And then you have this guy, Seleucia. Anyway, I'll get to that later. So, Lord willing, of course. <laughs> Lord willing, of course. Right. So then it's fun. So every time then, therefore, you see something, you'll be like, oh, so Paul went here. I didn't know that. You know, he went from here, and then he went here, and then he went here, and then he went here, and da 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 and all that there. And then he came back, and then he went so, and then, and also the book of Jonah. Jonah, um, where, where, where did he go? Jonah went somewhere here. I forgot, but uh, it's somewhere. It's, he went somewhere here, and he went all the way here. Then the fish swallowed them. <laughs> funny. That was funny, real funny. He trying to run away from the Lord's uh, sayings and doings. Trying to not do the work. But yeah, so uh, I think I'm done. So with that, I'm going to say, uh, sorry, let me look at something here. My eyes are getting real itchy. Itchy and scratchy, right? Um, let me see something here. I think I'm done with everything. So with that, I'm going to say Shalom.